with me today are Paul and Taylor, and we worked on a ping pong uh, automatic scorekeeping device. So here, Taylor's going to talk about some basic features of what we have going on. Okay, so uh, the magenta lines you see here and here are kind of the guidelines for setting up the table. Uh, so this is meant to be aligned with the surface of the table, and that's meant to be aligned with the net so that the uh, state machine for the game can record everything properly. Uh, and then here we have, uh, basically it's tracking anything that's green colored and converting it to magenta pixels. Oh no. That's fine. So it's, uh, and then the box here is showing where we find the most magenta pixels and that's uh, how we're tracking the ball's position. So if I throw the ball to the other side, it gives a point to me because mm -hmm. I served and the other person didn't return it. Mm -hmm. Um, so the numbers light up blue to show the last person that scored, uh, and this yellow indicator uh, basically means that this person is up to serve. Got it. Um, cool. There are two separate modes uh, for switching serves every two points or every five points, depending on user preference. And so currently we're looking at kind of like a debug or like a calibration mode, obviously for setup. If someone's more interested in like just gameplay, then you can also switch it to a like very visual heavy mode where it's just showing the numbers and who's serving, mm -hmm. kind of a little, a little friendlier for the user, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. So after after the user is calibrated, they can switch to this mode and play normally without having to look at all the tracking stuff. All right. Um, you gonna play now? Yeah. So uh, I guess Paul and I will play a couple rallies just to show off the sleep machine. So you can play to 21 or 11, right now it's a game to 21. And right now we're switching every two serves as opposed to every five, I believe? No, we're switching every five. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're switching every five then. Um, so you can see uh, if Paul sticks out his paddle, it's on that side, that mean, meaning that he's the one that should be serving. So, so in order to serve, um, for the state machine to know that the player's about to serve, you have to raise the ball above a certain height. So that means that I'm ready to serve. So I'm going to serve the ball. I'm going to play your game. And then he missed, so I get the point. Cool. Yeah, so <laughs> okay. It's 18. Yeah. So, what's the ball? so some of the things here is like, it's right by you, Taylor. So one of the things here is like where Paul raised the ball, the idea is basically if you're playing a game, you, know, you throw the ball up for your serve, so right. you can hopefully like get it to, you know, you're used to it, you can throw it up. And, and, and it detected height. that it was a miss because it didn't come back or because it was low, below the plane of the table or? In this case, it was because it didn't come back. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it didn't bounce on this table and there was a timeout. Uh, it's about a one second timeout, so if it doesn't bounce, then it's going to give me a point. Do you want to switch to debug mode? Yeah, maybe so that we one. can see the tracking. It's more fun. Okay, all right. Yeah. So I'm gonna serve again, and I'm gonna try to give you a point, I guess, and I get interesting. Yeah, I can't get a point on my own, so you have to give it to me. <laughs> you should. Oh, uh, well, right. Taylor missed. Hit the mat. I failed to earn a point. But, um, the green color uh, just kind of indicates that it's a win. The game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, cool. If we you want to reset it, we could just show some more. Uh, you should, should show some more gameplay. Do switch by two so that we can hear the switch serve sound. Yeah. So we also added some sound effects into the game, which I'm sure you've already noticed. So the first one is we announce when it's ready. The system's ready for the player to serve. So if Taylor raises the ball to the right height, you get the chime. Mm -hmm. And this is just because when we were in the setup, one thing that you can kind of notice is Paul can't see the screen, or in a lot of setups, maybe one player can't see the screen right. easily, or it's inconvenient to look, look at it. So this is the second sound effect, though, is the chime, or mm -hmm. the like, cut chain. The money sound, yeah. Yeah, exactly, for a point score, I thought it was uh, That's fairly cool. fitting. And then the final one that we added is something. Another thing to know is the uh, we have we have stereo speakers on the bottom, and the chime actually plays on the sound of the player that scored. Uh -huh. uh, and serves work the same way. Switch stuff. So there, the ball bounced twice on Taylor. 
side, so the point was awarded to Paul. <coughs> and then that was our final sound effect, is we also announced when you should switch serves. For me personally, that's probably like the most common thing for me to forget is like to hand the ball away. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's actually very useful. So Taylor was serving, so I, that's my serve now. This will play a couple more points. Sure. Nice. Point to Taylor. Oh, being tricky. <coughs> We've also gotten a lot better ping pong this semester, I think. <laughs> okay. 